Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a full face of first impressions. I cannot wait to show you all of the products that I have used to create this makeup look. Honestly, I've had a little bit of a palaver. You will see why in the video. It turned out okay in the end, but God, it took a journey to get here. I've got some really popular products right now that I am gonna be trying. So make sure you stay tuned to see how I got this makeup look. Before we get into it, if you could subscribe to my channel, I would be so, so grateful. I upload every single Wednesday at 5 p.m. You can find all things beauty, fashion, makeup, etc. on my channel. So if you're also into those things, do make sure to subscribe and let's get into it. Okay, let's jump straight in. I am so excited to use all of this makeup. I've got it all lined out in front of me in which order I'm going to use it. I literally cannot wait, but I'm hoping this does actually go well because I've got to go out. My mum is arriving today for Mother's Day, so we're gonna go out, do a few girly things. So I'm hoping this makeup does actually go well, but I've left a few hours just in case it goes badly. Like I say, I've never used any of these products before. So let's keep our fingers crossed. The first one I'm gonna be using is actually from a giveaway that I won. Um, you know like on TikTok and people go live and you can win giveaways. I've literally like never won one and I was watching Be Perfect and there was like 400 people watching and I won. Literally couldn't believe it, but I won this, I think it was a Mother's Day bundle actually. Cannot get this open for the life of me. So there was a few different products which I'm gonna be trying in this video from that giveaway. So the first one is this Perfection Primer. It's an illuminating primer. I like the packaging. So let's give it a go. Uh, I'm gonna put it on my palette actually. Let's see what it comes out like. I don't know if it's going to be like golden. Oh my god. Okay, that is literally like liquid gold. I didn't actually think it was going to be that shimmery because for my next product, I have a glowy one as well. So let's just pop her on. Okay, so it looks like there isn't much coverage, which is good. Like I don't want it to be like a glowy skin tint. These are giving like bronzing drops type thing. But it's good that these also have like a primer in, so it's gonna help to grip your makeup instead of it like slip and slide around. Okay, my skin is officially glowing. I use like half the amount that I pumped out, so if you're gonna get this, then don't use a lot. First impressions of this is good. I don't know how long it's gonna make my makeup last, but it's made me look really glowy, so love that. You also get loads in here. I'm gonna rate this one a eight out of 10. So the next product I feel like maybe won't work now, but it is the Baby Beam from Glow Hub. I'm so excited to try this. I've never tried it, it's been out of stock for so long, so I finally got my hands on it. But I don't know if because we've just applied that other primer that this is gonna be a good idea. Ooh, the packaging is so nice. I didn't realize this was like silicone based. That is so fun. I got mine in the shade Golden Beam. I'm gonna pop it on here. Okay, it's like a more solid version of the one we've just used. Literally, this packaging, I don't want to put it down. Let's give it a little swatch on the palette. Oh, that looks so nice. Should we just like apply a little bit? Let's just see what it does. <laughs> Again, kind of like that I got this in a darker shade, so it gives that like bronzy effect. I know a lot of people have gone for like the light beam, which is like more of a highlight type thing. But because I fake tan like my hands and neck, it's obviously gonna match that a little bit more. Gorgeous. I mean, obviously I only use a tiny bit, so I'm not gonna rate that product, but I am glowing to the gods now. Maybe I'll do like a proper full review on that one on my TikTok. I always leave my socials in the description so you can go and have a look there. Moving away from skin for a second, I got my hands on the Glow Hub Brow Sculpt Freeze Please, I think it's called. It's just in a clear shade, but I'm hoping this is really gonna sculpt my brows. And I've seen it come with a, oh, it's on the floor. And I've seen it comes with like this unique spoolie type thing, like this brush. Oh my God, that is so cute. So you get three products. You get this like brow thing. I guess that's to stick them down and you get a little spoolie. So I think you apply it with this and then you kind of flatten them down with this. This is what it looks like. And then you've got the spoolie and the actual brow freeze. Let's open her up together. That is so weird. I just looked in and I was like, is there anything in there? When you open it, it literally looks like there's nothing in there. That's so strange. Doesn't that literally look like an empty tub? <laughs> okay, let's give it a go. So I'm just gonna dip the spoolie in. Oh, it's like goopier than I thought. 
Right, let's give her a jiggle. Oh, she's thick. That stuck them down really, really easily. First impressions, it feels like a gel, like a hair gel. It's got that kind of like goopy thick formula. Wow, what do we think? Right, let's try and push them down with this. Oh, okay, I'm not sure how I feel about this. Is it meant to like get rid of the excess? Okay, interesting. It's kind of like got rid of the excess, but like not really done anything else. I would say if you want to flatten them down, use the opposite side and actually like press them to your forehead. Okay, they're fully stuck down. They are still a little bit tacky, so I'll update you if they dry. But I'm just gonna fill my eyebrows in because I don't have anything new for my brows. Obviously, brows are a big thing, so I'm just gonna stick with what I have. I'm quickly updating you because Corey just came in the room to get like the hair dryer and stuff. He's just been in the shower. And we were just chatting for a minute and I've turned back around to do my brows and they had like such a nice shape. But this is what happens when I use brow gels. They go up really, really nicely. And then I don't know if it's because they're too like heavy and they've got too much like wet product on, the brows just go meh <laughs> and sink back down to where they were. So it's kind of like pointless. Like I don't know if you can see, but they've lost that like lift and that kind of like fluffiness. They've just kind of like relaxed down. So I'm like really disappointed. Don't get me wrong, they don't look awful. They still have a nice shape. Um, but they've not got like that floofiness. I would probably still use that again like for kind of day to day But if I wanted that pushed up brow effect I wouldn't be using that product. So I'm like high key disappointed about that because I usually love glow hair products Especially like their skincare is really really good. But there you go Anyway, not every company is gonna make a product that is absolutely ride or die And although I still love glow hard, you're not gonna love every single product from every single brand Do you know what I mean? So I'm gonna give that one like a 4 out of 10. On to the next one. I'm so excited about this. We have Chroma cover. So although this isn't like a new product, this is brand new to me. These both are. Sorry, I feel like I'm really blinding you. <laughs> I've got the Be Perfect Chroma Cover Luminous Foundation and then also the Be Perfect Chroma Cover Matte Foundation. After doing a little bit of research on what shades were best to get, apparently the Luminous one runs lighter than the matte one. In the Luminous one, I got N6 and in the matte one, I got N5 because everyone was saying that they got matching shades and the luminous was lighter does that make sense also can we take a moment for the packaging like the box everything i feel like the experience is very like pr love have their own little stand and everything okay so i've done a little bit of the luminous let's see what the shade is like for the matte hello oh my god my god my forearm is that how thick it is? Like, we can't even pump it out. Okay, let's just undo it and pop a bit on the palette. <laughs> that is thick. So they're both quite dark. This one is the matte, that's the glowy one. I'm thinking because they're quite dark, we should go for the glowy one so I can kind of like sheer it out a bit more because I've heard the matte is literally like Estee Lauder on steroids. Let's just test a bit on the side. So this is the matte one in the shade N5 and that one is the luminous one in the shade N6. So yeah, I can see what people mean. They are literally the exact same shade, but they're not. I literally can't decide which one to go for. Which one do we think, glowy or matte? I think I'm just gonna mix the two. Let's just give them a little mix. I'm gonna apply it with a brush. This one is the Joy Adenuga brush. So I'm just gonna tap some into the skin. Wow, that coverage is so good. Oh my god, I literally love the mix of the two. I'm just mixing up a little bit more. Okay, that is a lot of coverage. I put so much on my brush, I need to take a bit off because if not, it's not gonna blend. Also, I'm aware that this foundation is quite orange. So I don't want it to be like super duper in your face but we have a really exciting concealer to try so hopefully it will all balance out in the end honestly i love that foundation i cannot explain the finish of it it's divine like it's coverage but it's glowy but it's like amazing it's 
spread so beautifully. It's not patchy. It just looks so nice and I hope it wears well. The only thing is I do feel like the shades are a little bit orange. I feel like I could have gone down to like 4 and 5M. But do you know what? Sometimes that is the best because then you can apply a concealer and your bronzer and it all comes out perfect. So just trust the process, okay? I'm just going to clip my hair back now that we are moving more onto the face. Don't want my wispy hair in the way. First impressions for that foundation, I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. I just hope it wears well. If it wears well, it's going to be a 10 out of 10. So moving on to the next step, we have got the NYX Colour Correcting Pro Fix Stick. I've never tried this before. This one was gifted to me and I know they do like a green, a red, an orange. I'm not exactly sure like how to use this. I'm just going to try. Oh, is that right? It feels quite like sticky. I don't know if it needs warming up a bit maybe. It didn't particularly glide on that well. Oh, I feel like dabbing is better. I mean, to be honest, there's nothing really to color correct after that foundation. I probably should have done that before. But let's dab her in anyway. This is a MC9 brush from Made by Mitchell. You know what, I do actually really like that color. Okay, it's blending in actually really nicely with this brush. Oh, I actually really, really like that. I think the thing is you need to warm it up a bit first. So I think pop a bit on your hand and then do it because if you like drag it on your skin, it like makes it a little bit tricky. Wow, that's actually worked really well, especially on my eyelid. Obviously you can see I've got a lot of blues coming through and a lot of red under my eyes. And that's just like really nicely color corrected it. It's not particularly added any coverage but that is the whole point of it like it's not a concealer i do really like this um i wouldn't probably use it every single day but i'm gonna rate this a seven out of ten nice and sleek ended up doing the job really well it's also affordable so yeah Okay, I'm really excited for this one. We are going in with the Fine Concealer. This is honestly raved about on TikTok. However, so is the skin tint and I used it and I hated it. It literally did nothing. It should have been called like a glowy primer, not a skin tint. It didn't tint my skin at all. I've used it a few times since then and my thoughts are the exact same. And also the packaging of it came really, really bad. Let me show you. So this is it here. And as you can see, all around the top here is peeling off and like on the back as well. There's also a little bit on the front and it literally came like that. When I was applying it onto my face, all of the bits were actually going onto my face. So don't love that. Like really don't get what the hype for this product is about. So I'm hoping I'm not gonna have the same thoughts about this concealer. I got mine in the shade, what shade is it? 05. So I'm hoping that's gonna be light enough. I mean, first of all, the packaging is gorgeous. It's obviously not travel friendly, but makeup doesn't really need to be I think these days like if you want travel products you can buy travel size so let's give it a go I think the shade looks good first of all I really like this applicator it's got like a slight L to it and it's also quite long do this side with the sponge I suspect this is going to blend in really nicely with the sponge I've never really come across a concealer that doesn't but let's give her a blend Okay, yeah, that is looking a lot nicer than the skin tint. I'm just gonna take it onto my eyelid a little bit as well. Nice, I like that. Let's try the other side with the brush. Okay, I'm getting quite a lot of streak marks with the brush. Let's try patting. Mm, I think it's definitely a little bit more patchy um, with a brush. I zoom you in, you could probably see. So this side is with a brush. I don't know if you can see, but like kind of here, if I like tap it in I'm just doing this really gently I'm not applying loads of pressure so this is the brush side and then this is the sponge side I don't know do you know what I mean I feel like this side just looks a bit better than this side I definitely prefer with a sponge but I do also think that with a sponge it doesn't have as much coverage naturally so yeah I'm gonna do the rest Oh, okay, that's important to know, it sets. <laughs> I would work, I mean, I don't think like super quick, but don't like go and make a coffee, do you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna quickly blend that in. Yeah, I think the more you leave it, the more work it's gonna take. I'm just gonna go over this side with my sponge, just because 
I want it to be even. I'm actually going out today. Mind you, I am actually only going to a garden center. <laughs> it's gonna be the most glamorous one at that garden center. Okay, well, this is how we're looking so far. I do really like that concealer. I'm so glad it's so much better than the skin tint. I'm gonna give this a eight out of 10. I'm not gonna give it a 10 out of 10 because when I left it, it did dry a little bit and I had to work it in quicker. Whereas like, you know, the HMB Cosmetics Concealer, you can leave that its coverage will increase and then it just blends in like so flawlessly so i'm gonna give it minus two because that but i still do really really like it i'm just gonna also dab the excess along my jaw because i am looking very orange next product is another cream this is the claudia killsby blush now this is actually really special because it comes in a mother's day bundle and you can get it off tiktok and that is how I got it, I got it in like a little bundle with some perfume. And I also got another item in the bundle, which will be later on in this video. So this I am very, very excited to try. I feel like I've seen this all over TikTok. If you've never heard of Claudia Killsby, it's a small business in the UK. So let's see. The packaging kind of reminds me of like Rare Beauty a little bit. That applicator reminds me of like a lip oil. I'm just gonna dab, I'm gonna do three dots each side. Again, let's do a sponge and a brush test. I love these tests because I really feel like you can just see what works better. Let's stick with the same theory. Let's do the sponge this side. Okay, I feel like I'm going to prefer a brush because there's only like a hint of colour there. If you like a more natural blush, then that's worth bearing in mind. But I love a strong blush. I think this is going to be the key. Oh yeah. Oh my god, that is so much better. Does that not just go to show that like, it's not always the product, sometimes it is the person. And it's how you apply it, it's what you apply it with. Let's add a little bit more. I'm going to add a few more dots this side, just so it's actually even. Like, look how nicely that blends. Ah, oh, I love. Literally, look how gorgeous that is. Love. The next one. I feel like you might have even clicked on this video for this one. It's a big one. So the next one is the Katie Daily XB Perfect Powder. I'm honestly so excited to try this. I think the packaging is absolutely gorgeous. Again, it's giving that like PR type feel. Just how you can like open it and pull it out. And then the box is still absolutely stunning. Honestly, I feel so excited right now. I've got the shade Vanilla, which I understand is the most popular shade. So let's open her up. I actually also recently did a masterclass with Katie Daly herself and Jamie Barry, who is the product developer for Be Perfect. It was an online masterclass and I'm gonna put everything I learned from the masterclass in one TikTok and it's gonna be like two minutes long so you can condense it down and watch it in two minutes. Another reason to go over to my TikTok, so I'll leave it in the description, but let's give it a go ourselves first of all i love this packaging because it's like the huda beauty one and i feel like that's probably what they were going for with the mesh okay looking at it it's more peachy than i thought i thought it was going to be more of like an actual vanilla cream shade whereas it does actually have more pinky undertones which isn't a bad thing but just wasn't what i was expecting i feel like it also has glitter in wait let me swatch this oh it does oh my god why do people not talk about these things online i don't get it wow that is going to be brightening i'm telling you right now honestly that has pigment I don't know if you can see either, but it does have tiny, tiny little shimmers in. They're literally so small, but I'm guessing that is going to have that like brightening, glowy effect. I'm so excited to try this. Let's get it on my eyes. Okay, I've just zoomed you in so you can see it in all its glory. We want to see every detail. It looks very, very bright. Before we do anything, I'm just going to make sure I don't have any creases under my eye. Okay, so we are all blended. I'm just going to focus it on the inner corner and then blend so i'm just lightly dabbing it oh god she has pigment <laughs> wow yeah that's brightening look at the difference i'm just dabbing that on top of my eye to set my eye as well honestly wow look at the difference i look how shiny that is you can see like my sunken eye type thing wow love okay love that for me i just filmed a whole video and throughout the whole video my phone wasn't filming because it ran out of storage. Anyway, back to the powder. I do 
love the powder like love 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 i've set my whole face with it as well and although it has like that shimmer running through it i don't feel like my face looks shimmery at all so really really like that i'm just hoping it wears well throughout the day i'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10 it is a 10 out of 10 like packaging formula brightening everything I think it's so, so good. Next product, obviously we haven't bronzed the face and I don't have a new cream bronzer, but I do have this palette, which isn't brand new. I got this at Christmas from my P. Louise advent calendar. It literally still has the mirror sticker on, but I've never really used these bronzy shades. So I thought, although it's not like brand new and I have like swatched a couple, I thought we could properly use it today. This is what it looks like. So it's got a really nice, range of shades in for one palette. Using a lot of Made by Mitchell brushes today, this one is the MF3. So I don't want to make myself too orange, but I'm thinking maybe a combination of these two shades here. And I'm just gonna lightly tap her on. Okay, that has gone like a tiny bit patchy. Let's try and fix that. Okay, I think that was just a bit where I hadn't set my face. Let's go in with the other side. It's actually got quite a lot of pigment. It's like not got coverage, but it's just got like pigment. Do you know what I mean? I really like that. I think this shade here is like really chiseled out my cheekbones, like without making them too orange. These shades are actually so, so nice. Oh, I really, really like that. And I thought just by looking at it, it looks quite like an orange kind of palette. But when you apply it to the face, it's actually really not especially this shade here love that i am so going to be using that palette more especially if i do makeup on like other people that is so so nice especially like with the contrast of the bright under eye it's just love i am going to give that what do i give that it's blended really nice to be fair apart from that little bit where i think i just didn't set it properly i maybe missed like a little bit with my powder i'm going to give that a seven out of ten do you know what as well? I realised I do actually have a blusher version. Should we give that a go? Why not? This time I'm using an Isoclean brush and let's try this shade here. Again, I think I might have used this maybe like once and I've definitely swatched quite a few. But I wouldn't be able to like rate it and like tell you what it's like. So let's just top up that Claudia Killsby blush. Okay, yeah, love that. It's not chalky. It's blended nice love that it's all coming together obviously i've literally put like the tiniest amount of one shade on so difficult to rate nice amount of shades though i'm gonna say again like seven so i'll definitely be using that again maybe i'll just do it by itself next time but i really like those two combined so the next one again staying on the same p louise theme i have this highlighter palette i kind of have never really used this before again i got it in my advent calendar i've swatched it but i've never actually put it on my face okay camera battery is running low i swear to god i need to get a new camera battery because it just literally dies but um, I'm just gonna take this champagne shade. I'm hoping it gets this on camera before it dies. Dab off the excess. I'm gonna pop a little bit on the high points of my cheek. Oh, that's pretty. It's a really nice shade. It's like quite wearable. Love that. That's just like brought the glow back into my face. Oh, I really like that. That's just blended so nice, like on top of the other product. It's not moved my base at all, so love that for me. I really, really like that. I literally never wear highlighter either, just because I feel like my base is usually so glowy, so I don't really need to, but I'm gonna rate that a eight out of 10. Yeah, I'm gonna say eight out of 10. I'm just gonna keep going, but my camera may die. The next one, I forgot so many P. Louise things, like all in one go, but it is this little eyeshadow quad. I have a couple of these eyeshadow quads just behind me. Again, got it in my advent calendar and I've not used it, so I just thought this would be the perfect time to try it out. I kind of wish I had like a pinky one, but both of mine are quite orangey. I'm just gonna mix a couple of the bronzy shades from this palette and then blender on my eye. I'm expecting these to be really good because they are P. Louise. I've literally done one dip and that's covered both eyes. I'm just gonna do like a fairly light wash of colour just because my makeup's quite like light and pink so I don't want it to be like majorly orange to be honest. Just running that same mix of shades under my eye. Okay that got very orange very quick but we move. I'm just gonna use this shimmer shade. Okay the camera died um so I've actually been food shopping. <laughs> 
I've been to Audi looking like this, um, like no mascara. I was like, I need to test the makeup for the babes on my channel, do you know what I mean? So I didn't actually end up finishing the makeup because I thought we need to do it together. So I guess it's had like a little bit of a wear test, which is quite good, right? So um, things I've noticed since I've been out, the foundation shade is too dark for me. Like I do look borderline orange, like I look a bit orange. Um, obviously that's my own fault, not the foundation's fault, but this is like my deepest fake tan shade, I think, for like my everyday wear, I would need to get a lighter shade. And the powder, the Katie Daily Be Perfect powder, um, is really nice, but I have already got oily on my nose, so I can see like my oils poking through, which actually is pretty soon for me just for time reference it is now half 11 um so i think we've been about an hour shopping yet because we left at half 10 i was like alexa what's the time and she said half 10 so i've been an hour and i've already had like some oils poking through which i'm surprised at i have to say i am surprised at um i feel like maybe i'm just gonna top it up and see how we go but like the under eyes still look flawless do you know what i mean but yeah like the rest of the makeup is looking pretty good i would say still loving the highlighter blush bronzer combo and the eyeshadow palette was also really nice and where is it this quad i actually just ended up using all of these so i didn't end up using the darker one so that was where we were up to and i'm now going to apply some mascara this one is from be perfect and again i haven't used this one this was actually part of my little giveaway that i won so i'm very very grateful for this um how do i undo this okay here we go this should be satisfying oh <laughs> let's just rip her open okay i've literally got like half an hour to complete this look because my mum arrives for mother's day if you didn't know my mum lives in norfolk along with the rest of my family and i do not live there anymore i live more up north but because it's mother's day she's coming to see me so i'm really excited but i need to get this look finished so i'm gonna curl my eyelashes as i always do so what do we need to know about this mascara it says it achieves length and it defies your lashes um it's obviously black it's a gel based formula interesting are all mascaras gel based like i actually don't even know okay this wand is giving volumizing <sighs> i actually swear to god <laughs> i just have to like clear my memory card because my camera does this thing where it like i don't even know the memory or something on it gets too full and you have to clear the memory card because otherwise it won't let you record Oh my god, I now have like 15 minutes till my mum arrives. <laughs> so we've now got a chip to chop, which is really annoying. It's like full daylight outside. I started this when it was like dark. I've been food shopping, god. Breathe, Victoria. Sometimes the day just tests you. Anyway, whilst I was waiting for that to do its thing, uh, I put one eye of mascara on. Not gonna lie, I don't like any mascaras that aren't waterproof. Um so this is not going to be like a high rating for me i already know it's not i only ever use mascaras like this unless i'm putting a full strip lash on just because a waterproof mascara will make your eyelashes like actually stay up where you've curled them so i mean obviously i'm gonna try it but i'm not expecting amazing things this is actually quite a good example you can see there what i like my lashes to stay and look like and then this is what happens when i use a like a normal mascara one that's not waterproof they just like droop down it's such like a subtle difference but it just makes a big difference to your makeup so yeah i'll use it for like under strip lashes um it's not awful but i'm gonna give it like a six out of ten just because it's a black mascara however conveniently i am actually gonna put a half lash on these are from claudia killsby they are so gorgeous this is the other part of that claudia killsby bundle for mother's day um but they're really really pretty i have actually tried these once before on my eyelashes so they are quite new but they look so so nice this is what they look like so they are literally so so natural they're really really fluttery and they are true half lashes sometimes i find with half lashes like they say half lash but they're not actually a half lash they're like a full strip lash to me i think because my eyes are kind of small as well and obviously you can cut them down but 
then I don't know it doesn't have that same like half lash effect it's just like a normal strip lash cut it's really hard to find good ones i think okay let's pop her on i also love how thin this lash band is love that they are just like so super natural they just add like a little bit of volume to the outer corner and ideally i would have liked to have used a waterproof mascara because on the inner corner my lashes are like really droopy now so it kind of just like ends where the lash ends I don't know if you can see like in this inner corner there are no lashes there whereas if I'd have used a waterproof mascara they would be like standing up a bit more so there would be more of a seamless transition from the lash to my natural lashes but there we go win Sammy Lisa I definitely look a little bit better now that I've got my mascara and lashes on so I think last thing is lips I'm so excited for this portion of the video because I actually have quite a few different lip things to try so we have two different doll beauty lipsticks two different be perfect lipsticks again these came in my little giveaway bundle so i'm really excited for them they're two satin lipsticks the doll beauty ones are matte and then i have this glow hub lip gloss so i'm gonna do a little swatch see what i fancy oh this packaging is nice from be perfect love that they're actually really heavy these feel like metal they must be plastic but they feel like metal Ooh. So this one is in the shade Soulmate, and this one is in the shade also Soulmate. Did they put two in? Wait, are they the same shade? Oh, I could have given one of those away to you guys. But I mean, I still can. It's just not going to have the sticker on. Well, to be fair, it does actually still have the sticker on. So if I just pop her back, I've not even opened that one. So what I'll do is just pop it in the box. Obviously everyone can see it's not being used. So I'm gonna give that one away. I was gonna mention this at the end of my video, but yeah, basically I am doing a giveaway of loads of different makeup bits on my TikTok. I feel like that's literally at the sixth time I've plugged my TikTok in this video. But yeah, I am gonna be doing a giveaway on my TikTok. So make sure you follow me there and I'll be giving that away as part of the giveaway right so this one is called soulmate oh my god that is such a nice nude pinky color love that oh did you feel that magnetic okay so then we've got golden girl and we have i think you say it's celery from doll beauty so let's give them a swatch this one is Celavi or however you say it. You've got Celavi and Golden Girl on the end. Gorgeous. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick with the Doll Beauty ones just because my eyes are quite orange and the Doll Beauty one, especially Celavi, is more orangey. I'm going to line my lips with a Made by Mitchell lip liner. This isn't new, but by the way, these are insane. And then all I think I'm going to do is pop this Golden Girl lipstick on. Okay, this is very matte and because I've like been outside and it's really, really cold and windy today. It's quite matte and my lips aren't that moisturised. And then finally, I am going to add some gloss. That should really help with like the dryness on my lips. This one is thirsty, I think. Oh, it smells like watermelon. Love that. This is like a really nice pink shade. Okay, I really like this lip combo. I don't feel like it goes with the eyes. I feel like I should have used a different kind of colour tone on the eyes. I wanted to use something that I hadn't used before and the only thing I had was oranges. So you'll have to excuse that. The makeup look doesn't particularly go. I mean, it doesn't look awful. It's just the lips and the blush are a little bit more pink. Okay, this is the finished makeup look. We finally got there after everything. I definitely have like learned a lot of things from these products. Tell me which product you are dying to try in the comments. I would love to know. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and getting to this point with me. Me. it's taken a lot of willpower but please make sure you are subscribed to my channel i upload every single wednesday at 5 p.m so i will see you next week at the same time bye babes